We're on to objective 2.3, where we'll summarize the many services provided by networked hosts. Think of a network like a bustling city, with different buildings or servers offering essential services to keep everything connected and productive. Let's explore some key server roles. First, DNS, the domain name system. This is the internet's indispensable phone book. You type in google.com and DNS servers find its numerical IP address so your device can connect. Next, DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Imagine a helpful network assistant automatically giving your computer its IP address and setup details the moment it joins the network. That's DHCP. A file share server acts as a central digital filing cabinet, allowing users to easily store, access, and share documents. Print servers are the managers for all your printing tasks, queuing up jobs and sending them to the right printer. Mail servers function as the Internet's post offices, diligently handling the sending and receiving of your emails. Then there's syslog. Picture every network device keeping a diary of its actions. Syslog servers collect all these logs in one central place, often a SIM, security information and event manager, which is vital for monitoring and investigating security events. Web servers are the hosts for all the websites you visit. Your browser requests a page and the web server delivers it, usually using HTTP or the secure HTTPS. For robust security, AAA servers, authentication, authorization, and accounting act like a stringent security checkpoint. They verify who you are, authentication, determine what you can access, authorization, and log what you do, accounting. Database servers are like massive organized digital libraries storing huge amounts of information in structured tables, often managed using SQL. And to keep everyone on the same page, NTP, Network Time Protocol servers, act as master clocks, ensuring all devices on your network have perfectly synchronized, accurate time crucial for logs and security. Now, let's look at some specialized internet appliances. Spam gateways are your email's first line of defense, filtering out unwanted junk mail before it hits your inbox. A UTM, or Unified Threat Management Device, also known as a next-generation firewall, is an all-in-one security powerhouse. It's like a Swiss Army knife for network protection, often combining a firewall, virus scanner, spam filter, and more in a single box. When a website gets super popular, load balancers act as traffic directors. They distribute incoming requests across a farm of identical servers, preventing overload and keeping the service snappy and available. Proxy servers are network middlemen. Your device sends requests to the proxy, which then fetches the information on your behalf, often caching content for speed or filtering it for security before sending it back to you. Next, let's touch on legacy and embedded systems. Legacy systems are simply older hardware or software still doing important work. Embedded systems are the hidden computers inside devices designed for one specific job, like in your car, a smart appliance, or a fire alarm. You use the device, usually without ever interacting with its underlying operating system. A critical type of embedded system, especially in industrial settings, is SCADA for supervisory control and data acquisition, or more broadly, ICS for industrial control systems. These are used to monitor and manage large-scale industrial machinery in places like power plants or factories often from a distance, because they control vital infrastructure. SCADA and ICS systems are typically on highly secure, isolated networks. And finally, the ever-expanding world of Internet of Things, or IoT devices. These are everyday items now connected to the Internet, your smart fridge, speakers, thermostats, and doorbells. While incredibly convenient, the security of these devices can vary. It's a good practice to place IoT devices on their own separate network to protect your main computers and data. Understanding these diverse networked host services, from foundational server roles to specialized appliances and systems like SCADA and IoT, is crucial for your a exam and for grasping how modern IT environments function. That's our comprehensive yet concise summary for Objective 2.3. Join us next time. Thanks for watching Tech Vault Academy.